It's May 27th, and we're here with uh, Sal and Jan at uh, Viking Aircraft Engines. And uh, we've got one out of three engines for Stan Albright that's our uh, our dealer. And he's picking up three of them tomorrow. And uh, this one hasn't run yet, so we've got to run it, test it out, and get it to him. So we're ready to start it up now. That's the first time this engine has run. Ready? Yep, go Contact. for it. There we go. So as you see, it takes a, a similar to a first start by a customer. There's no fuel anywhere in the engine, so we just keep keep cranking it for about 15 to 20 seconds. Eventually, the fuel pressure builds up in all the fuel injectors, and then the engine runs. And then from there on, of course, uh, let's do our shutdown and, and start it up for a second time, Sal. Ready? Yeah, yeah go for it. So second and following starts, of course, are uh, much faster. Now, when you do your uh, check to see if it runs on the backup computer, it will shut down if you just do it with the engine at idle and no propeller because there's no inertia to carry it through. So, uh, well, first you can, you know, we, we always check the alternator and you can kind of hear the RPM drop. I'm going to turn the alternator on. As you can hear, the engine gets a little more stable and the alternator is now putting a charge into the battery. Now to do your backup um, computer test, bring her up to about 2200 and then switch, switch it over. So now we're running on the backup. Let's switch back to primary again. And then the alternator back off. You can hear the RPM coming up. And we got the two idle settings that you can adjust. There's the low idle. And then, of course, now with no propeller and not being adjusted, it brought it all the way down. And then, so you would adjust this here so that you have 1800 or 1700 to 1800 RPM with it set normal. And then uh, you pull it all the way back for starting, uh, not at the first start of the day, but for subsequent starts of the day and also to... Uh, shut the engine down. You pull it and then cut the ignition. Let's show this one more time. Let's start her up. And that's all done by a spring that's internal to the adjustment ball itself. Alright, 